Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Farlanders here on at your professional walkthrough channel with me your host Max. So in the previous episode we're able to establish the underground mines and come across this new type of resource which we have all sorts of big plans for but Considering the fact that I had to actually reset the map and start all over and it took a while, maybe this scenario I'll have to separate into two episodes and chances are I might start off the episode and reset the map multiple times in order to come across a better seed. Because, let's face it, even if I would start off from some corner, which would seem like the most reasonable place to start, because let's say we would have uh, resources like minerals, or silicon, or, or potential to have farmland, or, or whatever, it might bite me in the ass eventually, as if I'll need to establish some base underground and I'll find out that I won't be able to do so, or like in the previous episode, I had to build scanners underground and mine and mine and mine in order to get to these other crevices and go three floors deep in order to uh, excavate this super rare material it's gonna be interesting to find out so with all that said let's jump into it and see what's waiting for us so grow the colony population to 200 by the 100th rotation the next objectives are gonna be revealed time objective complete main objective by the 80th cycle Wow, okay, we need to build a park and we need to grow two moss. I'm not sure if the moss is going to be grown underground. There is the underground agriculture. Uh, crap, I wanted to actually go back. Okay, hold on, I kind of screwed up. So, uh, we're going to go back to the menu and... Damn it, no. Abandon the run. Uh, I wanted to read like all the messages and everything, so I kind of screwed up there. <laughs> Welcome to that's your professional walkthroughs. So anyhow, Leland. Okay, Victoria, the suspend is officially killing me. Tell us what you've learned. Indeed, well, research has shown that the super quark does in fact possess temporal quantities, though it's quite unstable in its current state. This includes what appears to be the bending and folding of space-time, which can be observed with the naked eye. And because of its instability, it's difficult to ascertain exactly how the super quark will behave when directly exposed to organic matter. Sounds pretty dangerous, if I'm being honest. Have we conducted exposure tests? <laughs> Whoa, where did that come from? Uh, have we conducted exposure tests with flora? Affirmative, and while not purely conclusive, I feel confident enough in my research to have optimistic expectations. Still, we should probably tread lightly, especially considering Marco's next task is to focus on growing life. But I sincerely believe we could. Esther is right. As excited as we all are, we're not pulling the trigger on anything until we have a much better idea of what we're dealing with. Very well. Still, this is all tremendous stuff, Victoria. Thank you. How about you, Marco? Feeling all good about this? Mostly, yeah, though I really could use a class or two on physics breaking discoveries back at the academy. You can say that again. In any case, I'm ready to tackle the next mission. Super Quark or no Quark? Great, because growing plant life to sustain a colony is one of the most important things you'll do at Foresight. Even more important than making a one in a generation discovery. So, Victoria Marco. Well, what if you're wrong? My calculations are never wrong, Marco. I assure you, this plan only has a 9% chance to result in catastrophic failure. I guess that's a good thing. It's an incredible thing. Even if it's unstable, even if in its unstable state, I'm certain I'll come to grasp the super quark's properties. 
Well, not supposed to try it out. Think maybe we should run it by Leland first. Marco, you will come to learn that Leland is not as adventured, adventurous as you and I. He may be put off by the idea. However, Leland is a man of results. We let the results speak for themselves instead of asking for permission and potentially being denied. Wow, who knew Forsyth's head of R&D has such a rebellious side? I only rebel in the name of science. Okay, well, now we can start off. All right, we're aiming for a large, healthy population for this colony, so let's not waste any time. We'll need a hand from specialists, each of which provides unique boosts to the colony, so get that population up. Sounds like a plan. Hopefully there'll be a botanist available for a hire. Might come in handy for this job. Okay, so this is our initial seed. We have two farmable lands here and we do have mineral deposit. Also the, the debris. The fun thing is that the underground shaft is however way freaking far away. So by the time we would get there, uh we might run into lots of issues so let's see can we restart it and uh, blah 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 i'm just trying to look for like a potential initial setting where we can start off here we would have lots of uh refined metals Here are electronics, this is food, and this is the mineral deposit. I would need to therefore place the population in here. It seems like there's only one location every damn time for the, the descent into the depths of the underground. Hmm. The thing is, we need to keep in mind that the wasteland and the canyons will need to be cleared out, and we don't get terraforming that um, easily. So, I also have to keep in mind that I'll need access to mineral deposits, and if I try to cram my capital ship over here, I will not have the room for the population because the factory will just pollute this entire location and make everyone unhappy. So not a chance. I really need a better seed, goddammit. Okay. I'm thinking here. Um, we have farmable land. One, two, three, four, five. That's nice. We have a large mineral deposit, which will provide us with, I think, 40 refined metals for 40 cycles. That's a lot. The issue is... Where in the hell would I place my population? This will make this entire location uninhabitable. It will decrease the happiness of my populace. I just wouldn't have the space for it and Damn it. <clears throat> the thing is, here we don't have farmable land. Here we have only the minerals. No farming can be done there. Oh my god, why do I keep getting such shitty maps? I know it's meant to be challenging and all that stuff, but come on. <clears throat> Okay, so. I, 
I can work with this. Hear me out. If we set our ship over here, we have the farmable land. I can put the population up here, which will be far away from the factory, and we can start making our way down towards the underground passage. So, I think I'll go with it. I think this is the map. I think this is where we're gonna land. So we're gonna do this and we're gonna set up our landing platform. Cannot forget about it. And I will need the two habitats. Can theoretically build them over here. Wind turbines can be placed here, but if, if I would go and build the power structures through here, <clears throat> I'm cutting myself off from potentially utilizing this space eventually. So I'll need these two habitats for the purposes of having the 10 population. This is plugged in, water is plugged in, automatically connected. Uh... I can do this. This will not have the negative effect. Can still build over here. Wind turbine will provide us with the power we require. And the factory will not have the reach towards the population. And I can live with that. This is connected and now we need to plug it into the power grid as well. So once we get the population, we'll have the factory up and running and we'll have already access to the greenhouses, but we will require the resources, of course. So let's accept 10 people. So now we can start messing around with stuff. Okay, we have our initial six points of tech. So we can start obtaining that tech. <laughs> where or where would I want to put water? The thing is, I have to keep in mind that it will be frozen unless I put it into one of these. I also have to keep in mind that uh, I'll need the space to get to it. Uh, you know what? I think I will save this one for now. I'll need more refined metals in order to upgrade my food production. And uh, we'll have to think of getting towards some water for water consumption. Hmm. Okay, let's see the tech. Scouting is nice. Water extraction, yes. We'll need that, absolutely, definitely. Bio storehouse. Bacteria, okay. Interesting. Uh, earn credits and government subsidies for uh, culturing bacteria on Mars. To date, no sign of past microbial life has ever been detected. Or we can go with energy conservation. Or we can do scouting. Hold on. So the silicon surface deposit would give us more glass. <clears throat> this would give us more refined metals. This would give us the electronics. This is glass. I'm trying to think of what to do here. I need to see the range of this negative effect. Uh, 
We can build up over here. Because if I'll be taking in more people, of course, it's gonna burn through more food. Currently, we are exactly at uh, managing what we are managing. And I need to reach population the size 30. <laughs> so, theoretically... If we were to do... This, and that's where I would put my water extractor. It would not have negative effect over here. So we would be able to have sufficiency in water production. Then it's just question of clearing out this rubble and clearing out this rubble. Okay, let's let's do it. I'll just have to keep an eye out on also our energy, water, and all the other stuff. Okay, population. I can still cram them down this way, or this way even. No need for the better pipelines, <clears throat> so that's okay. Uh, we're gonna have one worker left after this and our water is gonna be going down so I'll need to tap into that water the next turn so that we are producing also surplus of water so we can now take in 10 additional people giving us the population of 20 Still giving us plenty of room to work with, outside of the negative pollution aspect. Uh, okay. Now these ones are gonna be tricky to pull off. Now, theoretically, I can actually use this in order to put this here. So that if we eventually clear out the wasteland, uh, we will have access to all this space. And this can be like a nice agricultural uh, field eventually if we clear out all the debris. Plus with all this higher quality soil, uh, we would be able to put in the better houses. So that we have happier population. Uh, she is right now our energy. It's kind of screwed up. I can put the solar panels over here. That would resolve our situation with that. I'll need to save up for the water pump, which will go over here. Okay. Water pump is going to be absolutely necessary. And also a wind turbine. I think I'll do it here. Um, no need to do it through here. So that would not be utilized properly. Uh... Reinforced pipeline for water. Out of materials, huh? Damn it. Yeah, we'll have to wait. I won't be taking in any new population yet. We need to balance out these things in order for them to work. 
If I like defrost this, this is gonna give me quite a lot of agricultural potential. Now we are producing that surplus of water. Food is equaled out, so with additional population, that will mean we will require... Okay, uh, we will require... Certain things to be done. I'm trying to think... Definitely want to use these shovels uh, around here. It would help us out because we would give ourselves this additional space to work with, getting closer to this location. I can theoretically defrost this sucker, but I think this would be just overall more reasonable solution. I think I'll go like this. The reason why, if I did like this, I'm actually clearing out the pathway. I think I'm getting the hang of this terraforming business achievement. So now I'll have to just clear out either this or get rid of the canyon in order to get to this additional space. So that's nice. Uh, or we can just demolish the rocks or clear out the debris here in the wasteland and work our way towards the underground passage eventually. <clears throat> so that will work. I will need to do something with my energy. As we continue to build through here, like if I build the, the greenhouse here, then the tunnel, I can put two additional wind turbines in here between these two mountains. That's going to have a decent buff towards their production. So we can actually execute that now. Which unfortunately did burn through our resources. I won't be able to afford the next wave of uh, immigrants or colonists, which is most unfortunate. Okay. Okay, okay. What are we working with here? So, technically speaking, I can clear out the path and we will have access to this section over here so that's where that housing can be placed uh, lots of space lots of the ground not the sand and the better housing requires ground to be placed upon yeah let's let's do it let's clear this out this will give us therefore access to here we can then defrost this in order to get more agricultural potential We'll see how it will be affected by these two fertile soils. So let's see. Like this is in the area of effect, huh? <clears throat> then let's not do that. Let's do it like this. Now we can house the additional population. We'll be able to have these farms here okay everything is in surplus 10 okay so that's 30 so that's the checklist objective has been done more science points food electronics okay can splurge on maybe new tech 
Now, if you want to start cultivating life, you'll need to research the right technology. First order of business is a bio storehouse. You'll need a bio storehouse in order to grow bacteria nearby. And that bacteria literally lays the groundwork by prepping the soil for growing moss, right? You're a botany pro, Marco. Oh, and while we're talking about technology, consider researching the tech for park. This colony will be flush with greenery, so might as well put it to good use. Spruce up the community, share it with every other colony. You get the idea. A little form, a little function. Sure, I'll do my best. Okay, so that means we'll need the farming utilities. Bio storehouse. Stores the tools necessary. Allows the following building in the area to function bacteria moss grass aquatic ecosystem fungi okay uh i think i'll get this for now and I think I'll go with the scouting as well. Uh, aquatic ecosystem and the moss. Interesting. But this is new. I haven't played around with this. Okay. So technically now... If I do this, I will have a crap ton of farmable land in here. Okay, this is going to be our next farm setup. We're going to have to work towards it and build our housing over here. So I'll eventually work on moving the population in here. But now we'll have to work on clearing our path towards the underground mine and the uh, biomatter. Bio storehouse allows the following buildings in area to function bacteria, moss, grass, aquatic, ecosystem, fungi. Could be built upon. Okay. Uh. Well, that's the thing. If where the hell would I build it? You know, like bio storehouse over here. I'll have to mess around with this. This is a new tech for me. I don't want to screw it up. Is basically what I'm trying to say. Ground hydration that cannot be built over there, but it's okay. Our goal here is now to get down here. Uh, we can theoretically build the scanner, see what's in the surrounding area. We do have some electronics. Fortunately, I don't see nothing overlapping, so that from one anomaly research camp we would get a whole lot more. But that's okay. Water seeking care of. Uh, I have to do something with that energy. The reinforced uh, wires won't be able to go through the canyon. <clears throat> These two locations would be ideal for wind turbines. Don't want to waste my refined metals for construction of tunnel to get here. We do have still plenty of turns to utilize this location for its uh, resources. But uh, that does not mean I need to spend it on moving the population already over here. That's like down the road. 
efficient housing would be the way to go for it so now what is like the next target or what's the next thing which i need to get done huh i don't really need right now resources to be shipped in glass production is pointless because there is silicon and here is silicon so i'll need to make my freaking way towards that stuff <clears throat> so rotation of trading items will be offered that's acceptable can put two of those here that's now connected can now house 40 population thinking over here I'll still have to probably break down this mountain in order to fill in this whole location with either solar panels or wind turbines. Both of these structures produce just plus three of energy, so I'm not really changing that much. Unless we get down underground and we come across a geothermal deposit, we won't really be able to do too much. And the geothermal energy will be absolutely great because the geothermal power plant can produce plus 60 energy alone by its damn self. Now that's a lot. Let's see what we're cooking with in here. Uh, I'm not really seeing the potential for this. Can blow stuff up. Create theoretically wasteland. If I do it over here. I'll still need to deal with this, but I'm creating a uh, wasteland, which is easier to deal with. So let's blow up these mountains. Accept the 10 population. See how our energy will be affected by it. Our energy is definitely affected by it. Uh... Cannot build it in the shadow. Okay, so this is gonna buff us up with the energy. Water is going down now, food is being affected. have the workforce out of resources I'll have to wait a turn some shovels would be nice to clear out all this debris beautiful technically we can use it over here Now, this one's tricky because I can also clear out this. Uh... Either way, I'll need to deal with the canyons there. So let's do it. Hopefully, we're going to get the shovels later down the road. Okay, now water is gonna be our problem. Water condenser, our sunlight. Well, 
We'll need to plug these in. This is now being taken care of. The population we discussed to be moved over here would burn through a lot of stuff. Well, theoretically, I can put the building over here, not use the fertile soil for the bacteria, and instead use it to be built over here. <clears throat> still have the fertile soil, so I'll still be able to build over the tunnel. The things that I do need. Won't be accepting newcomers right now. We're trying to balance things out. Okay. This will clear out this. I don't think I've ever seen uh, four shovels like this. But okay, if we clear out this route, we can go from the factory down towards here. We will just need to clear out this. And we are closer to electronics, uh, additional refined metals, I think, or whatever we get from here. And we're potentially unlocking a silicon deposit as well. So we might be able to make glass production happen for us. We'll need more pipeline and definitely more power. Okay, we have life. It might be microscopic, but it's still alive. Our first major step towards self-sustainable colony, but we're only getting started. Next is to develop the bacteria into moss. As the classic Marco enthusiasm, I love to see. Just make sure you research the appropriate tech to grow moss. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. Damn it, I keep running out of uh, the basic uh, construction material. That's not good. That's not good. Because at this rate, I won't be able to accept new population. Okay. Well, here's the fun thing. We just gave ourselves access to the underground. We have resolved the issue with the energy, but... I'll need to resolve the issue with the water. 
I would be able to defrost this permanent ice. Issue solved. Because it's far away from the agricultural sector, so it's not going to be negatively affecting us. Worst case scenario, I can theoretically just decommission these farms and make a water extractor over here. I would be able to relocate the farms over in here. Uh, so this can potentially do the job. And I will still be able to put the housing over here. Cannot really afford to build more houses. So we'll have to wait here. <clears throat> I'll build those farms up in here. And because they're so nicely stacked up, they are getting those additional bonuses and buffs and whatnot. And I'll be able to build the water extractor or water pump over in this location. Because uh, I'm not sure when I'll be able to tap into this permanent ice. So let's see how things are going to change now. Okay. Uh, well, this sucks. Won't be able to defrost it. Uh, this is the second time I'm getting something like this. That's so freaky. Trying to figure out where to use it, you know? If we do this, we are unlocking also this uh, potential space for our colony. It cannot really defrost this permanent ice, which sucks. Let's see it like that. Ah, uh, here for electronics, absolutely. There's even a large mineral deposit as well. This one has 22 turns left in it. Before we run out. The next one is all the way over there. Which, uh... Yeah, not great. We still don't know what's underground. Uh, I would require underground expansion, which costs me seven science points. Life on Mars, that requires six. So I'll need to boost the population to either 50 or 100 in order to get more science points. Which can be tricky. Depending on how much we're going to be depleting the food. And the water. If I start to build the houses over here. Now we can accommodate five more people, but I want to get to ten. So 
So now we can just be filling in this space. So I'll be able to accept 10 population. It's gonna have a negative effect on our statistics. <clears throat> so how much is it gonna affect our food? And our water has gone significantly down. Okay. Now we have the potential to give ourselves more water. Okay, here's the fun thing. If I do this, I'm giving myself second water. I'll still be able to use this place for agriculture. I think I'll freaking do this. Because I'm give. Oh crap, this is gonna turn the silicon deposit into a fertile soil. I don't want that then. Crap. <clears throat> okay. Uh, think, Max. Think. I would have to decommission this house. Damn it. It would be frozen, unfortunately, if I would build it on the surface level. <clears throat> Damn it, Max. What are we gonna do now? Think. Okay, this would theoretically work. I'm not really sure if I would need a tunnel through the water condensers. Now nah, we, we gotta keep the silicon surface deposit as is. Let's fill this place up. Pipeline. Donezo. Water is being pumped in. And we will be able to return to the agriculture being uh, done in here as well. Okay, that's not bad. We can even do agriculture here. I'm not sure if I'll be able to make my way to this mineral deposit. Maybe I have better chances of going underground. We'll have to expand the population to find out. And I'll need to do something with my energy levels. Because they are freaking the hell out of me. They're low. You're losing uh, a lot of juice. I'll have to build some turbines over here. Food is okay. Let's go one more turn. Crap, we won't be able to use this one. Hmm. 
Hmm. Do I see the potential to use what we have here? I cannot really use this to defrost the, the lake. So I think I'll recycle these. I'll be able to build additional housing and uh, <clears throat> I'll need to buff up the energy production. If I won't be able to get up here, I'm kind of screwed without those wind turbines being operational up there. I think I'll receive my next sign spawns if I reach 100 population. Don't want to build up the... Oh man, what the hell are we going to do with our energy, huh? Theoretically, wind turbines can be built around here. Would give us a nice buff. Let's accept the 10 people. It's gonna tap into our food production. Okay. 15 science points. Nice. Pick a specialist. So, geologist, recruiter, and a banker. Receive one extra terror tech for terraform set recycling. Terraforming with buildings occur in one turn. Provides additional colonist uh, migration options. Some colonists will still be willing to join the colony even with negative happiness. Grants 3% return passive income from all your uh colony funds unlocks the international space fund loan option <clears throat> i think i'll go with the geologist okay uh we need the juice bam so that's now up and running. I can now get life on Mars. I'll need glass production and underground expansion. So that we can build the elevator shaft. I don't want to do the bacteria, aquatic ecosystem. I don't know what would happen if I would try to build it uh, on top of this water. Uh, earns credits and government subsidies for replicating aquatic life on Mars. Some hypo uh, hypothesize that a vast liquid ocean covered about a third of the planet's surface eons ago. Well, it would be in the range. I just don't know if it would dry up the water. That, that's the thing which I don't know. The moss build would be nice. That's for sure. But we still need to do something about our energy situation. Energy is now dealt with, so now food is going to be important. I 
If I use the shovels, uh, where would I use them? That's a hell of a good question. Uh, I still cannot defrost this lake. I would be able to defrost this one, but it's so freaking far away. I don't see the reason behind it. Uh, starting to think I might have to work my way towards that mineral deposit because 17 rotations are left. In here. The thing is, if I clear out this, I'll still have a crap ton of long way to go down there. It's probably better for me to try and work towards these two deposits over down here. So that's what I'll try to do. Yeah, the nearby fertile soil is no longer hydrated. That would kill my entire agriculture. Bodge. That's not good. And I cannot move my agriculture over here. Damn it to hell. Trying to think how to manage this. Our electronics, mineral surface deposit that would give us the refined metals. We haven't received terraforming yet for us to potentially build a small deposit of minerals. So I would need Ground, sand, wasteland would give me silicon. So, sand or ground for mineral deposits. Great. Just great. Energy, energy. How do we fix our energy problems, huh? Need to keep digging my way down here, that's for sure. Not enough resources. Cannot go too crazy with receiving more people right now. That's the fun thing. Here I would receive a buff from... Oh, we can do this. I still have this room for the tunnel towards the underground passage. Happiness is up. Don't really need to trade right now, I think. Um, or buy these things. They are crazy expensive as is. Uh... Moss would require two spices in order for it to grow, damn it. So that's kind of out of the window. I would need to purchase spice. I can buy 14 for 2,272. Screw it, let's go for it. Because I'll be able to then grow uh, the moss over here and get the objective done. Or the side objective done. So that'll be something which I'll be able to work with. Population uh, growth. Can accept five. For some reason, oh, maybe I need like two landing pods or something. 
for it to work. We'll see. How many more minerals are we looking at in rotations? 15! That's, uh... Hoo -hoo -hoo. Okay. We might be able to actually grow our own. Don't want silicon. That's the thing. There's wasteland in here. Just wasteland. So give me minerals. So factory here, factory here, and something with water over here. I'll save this one for now. Because that one is quite rare. So the moss is now done. Looks like a healthy harvest of moss to me. Good work, Marco. You know what's next? Developing that moss into grass. Same principle as developing bacteria into moss apply here. Can't believe this whole colony will eventually be able to feed itself in one day. It's the most rewarding part of the job. I'll leave it up to you to make sure you've done the right research. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay. I'm not sure how to further develop it. Uh, these suckers are still doing whatever they are doing. The question is if they'll ever finish. If they destroyed the tunnel here, uh, they would be connected through this. And that would give me a potential to build another bacteria site. Like so. And the moss is already over there, so we'll just have to wait, I guess. Population in three rotations. Now we'll be able to house 70, so there's that. It would be nice if I would build some storage so that we stack up more food or water. Glass, mineral depot, kind of pointless. <laughs> Glass refinery, that's quite cute, but not now. When will this turn into something more? What do I need to do or how long does it take for this thing to do its damn thing? Oh, we can even move the benefits of this. Okay, nice. Theoretically, I might be able to make the aquatic thingy over here if I'll get the water. This way it would not directly negatively affect this agricultural location and I would be able to live with myself knowing that I did not kill everyone alrighty um This would give me access to the mineral deposit by clearing out the wasteland. So now we have this factory that I'll need to work my ass towards. Because once this one shuts down in 13 cycles, we'll need a replacement. Now for the expensive stuff. Yep, 
this will take a while. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's eighty. Eighty uh, refined metals. So that's two rotations. But it will be worth it. I hope so. TNT and shovels are here too. Trying to think if I need to blow up anything. This mountain would actually help me out as I would be able to get two windmills over there. I mean, I cannot save this one now. There goes the second factory. This one will be shut down in 11 rotations. Elevator top will require 35. So we'll be able to build that there, but we will need to reinforce the pipelines and such. So that's gonna still tap into our resources. Uh, theoretically... Can use this in order to gain access to this space, but I don't see the point. If I do this, give myself some more space to build through. Seems like kind of a waste, though. Uh, I cannot be built because of the tunnel. I don't want to get um, silicon. Be theoretically able to make it into a large deposit, but there's one over there, so I don't see the point of doing it. I don't see a small mineral deposit, that's the thing. make a small deposit here trying to figure out what to do with this I'm not sure what would be the benefit of doing this okay uh TNT 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 if I blow you up into smithereens just have a large square of four squares with nothing that can be done. If I blow you three up, I'll get wasteland and access to a quite decent size of a place where we can do like a solar panel farm or something like that. Skirt, let's blow you up for now. Uh, 20 population would be moving in. But that would kill me completely. All things considered. Uh... Okay, where is that moss? Bacteria needs to be level 4. 
requires time to fully grow. I'm not sure if this means 10 rotations or 5 rotations. But okay. If I do agriculture here, it will tap into our water even more. If I do water here, it will kill all this agricultural potential. I'll need the stupid uh, elevator so that I can find out what the hell is going on down there. This is gonna burn through almost all of our electronics. Which I can solve by doing this. This will require reinforced power. Great. Ah, shindig. I'll need to build quite the distance. To get to the base. Still not done. Cannot accept population right now. We're losing food, water, and energy. And it's gonna get even slightly worse. Now this is done. We can start descending here. Okay, rare metal deposit, smaller one, but can be used in order for us to do things. And I'll be able to build the scanner in order to figure out what the hell is going on around here and in which direction to try and dig. Also, it will give me the potential to fill in these crevices so it's easier to get where i might need to get so let's use it over here i'll still need to fill in the canyons around but okay i got to the underground so i think that's a decent milestone that i have reached i will need to address the energy i will need to address the food and the water so I think I'll cut it off over here. So if you did like the start of the next mission of the campaign, give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more, check out the playlist in the video description or at the end of the video. And for more fun content like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'm going to wish you a pleasant rest of the day and hopefully I'll see you in the comments or at the next one. Thank you all for watching and bye-bye for now.